All right, everybody, welcome back to another game tutorial by Rex Fred. Start this video off by getting this out of the way here. All right, and let me go ahead and just close this here. Sorry, I accidentally left that open um, before I started recording. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so really quickly before you guys uh, go into this video and start watching it, um, as you already are, but you know, anyway. Um, basically, just a little heads up. Uh, this video is still um, basically like the last video that I just did. Um, I'm basically still kind of conducting my test um, with these tutorials. Um, just, to, well, I'm not going to go and uh, explain it because that would make the video even longer than it uh, should be. But anyway, I'll probably post a link or whatever, uh, or annotation link kind of thing, uh, so you guys can go check out vid uh, that video out if you guys want to. Uh, basically just explains why I'm going a little faster and a little less descriptive than I usually am in some of my other tutorials. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and just go and to uh, this tutorial, um, because I'm sure you guys don't want to stand around waiting, um, and so yeah. Alright, so anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create kind of um Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, how to pick up objects in uh, Game Maker. So what I mean is uh, we have our little pickup object here. It's kind of like a little box. And uh, when our player, this guy, collides with it, he can go ahead and you're going to be able to press space or whatever and be able to basically just pick that object up and jump with it and everything and be able to throw it um, depending on which way you're facing. So if you're facing left, you can throw it left. Right, you can throw it right. And, uh, and yeah. All right. So anyway, as you can see, I already have everything made out for the first time. And uh, so let's go ahead and start with the sprites here. All right. So this is going to be a player sprite, a simple uh, white box kind of thing. And my block sprite, or basically my ground, um, which is just a simple black block. And my pickup object, which is what I'm going to be picking up. Now this could be a rock or whatever the heck you want it to be. Um, I just chose a little simple brown crate because it was, well, simple and easy and fast, just for the uh, tutorial. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can definitely go ahead through um, and change this, uh, basically change this sprite uh, once you have everything already coded out and stuff. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and just close this, hit OK. And now, basically what I did is I went in and uh, made objects of all three of those. And let's go, just go ahead really quickly and go to the player object. All right, so I have a step event here, which basically just sets my gravity for the player. And uh, you don't need to have this if you already have, or bah, sorry, if you already have uh, gravity for your player. And the next thing I did was go add event and collision with my block or my ground, and basically just set a collision for that. And note, I wouldn't try to copy me because I'm um, basically on this tutorial because what I did was just for tutorial purposes. And uh, really, I would not advise doing it like this. This is a really sloppy job. But anyway. Um, I digress. So the next thing I did is obviously give uh, my player movement, which for some reason doesn't really work because game makers decide to be an annoying little, well, you know. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and go to the add events now. And the next thing I did is I went a key press, um, or added a key press space. Um, now this is the important part here. And the uh, key A press up, basically, if you're wondering, is uh, just so my player can jump. Um, you don't need to have that, but, you know, it's a pretty cool thing, I guess, to have. Um, if you really want to bring out the potential of the tutorial. Uh, but if you already have that, then you don't need to put these. Which you shouldn't put these anyway, because they're, again, just for tutorial purposes and pretty messy. So anyway, back to what we need to do. Um, so basically the space is what button that you're going to be able to press to basically pick up the object. Um, or in our case, uh, pick up the crate. So I just put space, but you can change this to whatever you want after you finish the tutorial. Ah, except for that. <laughs> Basically anything in the key press kind of area. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the control tab, click and drag over some code, which I already did. And I will have this code in the description box, so don't worry about that. You can just go and copy and paste it in your game. Um, and I won't really explain this a whole bunch, just the important parts. <laughs> All right. So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, what you're going to want to do is you want to go are uh, going to want to go ahead and uh, replace this OBJ pickup two with whatever object it is that you have um, that's basically going to be picked up by your player. Which in my case it's OBJ pickup two. That's what I named the uh, little crate object. So you're going to want to replace this one and this one, unless of course your uh, pickup object is already named OBJ pickup two. Um, in which case you don't need to worry about that. All right. And now we're going to go to the uh, add event and key press or key release rather, sorry. And we're going to go ahead and choose the same button that we chose for the key press, which is our in our case is space. Okay, uh, same thing. Go to the control tab or control tab rather. Click and drag over some code. 
All right, now in this, again, I'm not really going to explain it, just the important parts that you need to know. All right, so what we're going to do is, again, in the uh, if place meeting, and uh, yes, oh yes, I will have the uh, code in the description box just for you, go, uh, for you guys who are wondering. Um, but anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go, uh, want to go to the uh, if place meeting section, and again, replace the uh, OBJ pickup 2 with whatever your uh, pickup object is, or is, rather, if it's not already named OBJ pickup 2. And same for the uh, ID equals instance nearest, you're going to want to replace the OBJ pickup 2 with uh, the same thing. All right? And that is all the important stuff. So basically just the keeper space and release space uh, inside of your player object. Okay? And now, for the block, basically all I did was uh, make it solid. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you don't really need to do that um, unless, you know, well actually you kind of do. Um, basically your ground object needs to be solid. Um, but most likely it probably already is. So anyway, let's go ahead and go to our actual pickup object here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go add event, create, go to control tab, click and over some code. Alright, and I will have all these codes in the description box again, just so you guys know. Alright, and then you want to go to the uh, add event step, regular step, and click and over some code. And basically just, um, I'm just going to explain the important parts of this. So basically what you want to do is you want to replace the OBJ player um, for the X equals um, to basically whatever your uh, name of your player object is um, for both the OBJ player for the X and for the Y. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go, uh, you're going to want to go to add event and collision with your regular player. Okay. Click and show some code once again. And uh, basically what you're going to want to do is for the place meeting, uh, you're going to want to replace the obj underscore player with the name of your player object. And down here, you're going to want to play or replace the uh, obj block with the uh, basically whatever. Oh, wait. Hang on. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> that was for a previous tutorial. Okay. Never mind. Um, just forget everything I just said. All right. So basically, the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, going to want to go to add event, collision with your block or ground object, and drag over some code. All right. And again, just put this code. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and run the game really quick, just to let you guys know that it works and uh, basically what it does. All right. So hang on here, just a second. <laughs> 